or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hello everybody, my name is Elbow Gamer. Welcome back to Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So and we're back with where we were before. This is where we left off. Certainly. Okay, let's continue. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Uh well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why you just share them sometime? No, no, no. I'm choking your first rise. Oh, um, unless you're sorry, I was high. How I was acting. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to act that way. It's just like I slept all. I, I slept all day. Like, it was, though I should record it when I. When I'm. You know. Let's go to it. You wouldn't like. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your readers, exposing your varieties, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience to Yori? Maybe you share some of your work, you can set an example, and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Da -da -da -da. I guess it's not the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all send the songs for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Da -da -da question mark. Natsuki really look quizzically at Monica. Let's, look, let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, da 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 Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Demonia? I guess my mom's room behind me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back into a short topic, I barely come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, some train of thought. All of them are staring at me with different little eyes. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, you, you all, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the place I need to pay in or to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right, okay, I decided then. I'm going to the leisure club. One by one, the girls, I light up. Yes, I'm so happy. So you already wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> did that make some makes it official? Look to the literature club. Ah, thanks. I guess. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. I want to remember tonight's assignment. Our poem to bring to the next meeting, so we can all share. Uh, looks over at me once more. Monia, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. He, <laughs> yeah, can really impress the class star, Monica, with my metacritic writing skills. I already feel the anxiety, anxiety welling up inside me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls aren't continued to chit chat as you already know so they clean up their food. Hey, Demonia, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sion and I never walk home together anymore because she always 
stayed at the score for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Mm. With that, the two of us depart from the club room. Make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Siori, Natsuki, Yori, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure Good Fortune will find me. And I guess that's source with the writing poem tonight. Alright, let's write a poem. So I'm writing a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Uh on the Smile! Wonderful! Sunset. Crimson. Family. This is this is my first time writing poem. I didn't I didn't like writing poems, but <laughs> hop, boop, rainbows. Peace. Sparkle. Puppies. Horror. Journey. Anime. Forgive! No, promise. Uh, strawberries! Cute! Era. Uh, passion! Oh, that was the last one. I didn't notice. I didn't notice that was the last one. Okay. Hi right, again, Demonia. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. At least we can get promised, Demonia. How does it too overwhelming of a commitment for you? When you divine head first into literature, when you're not listening to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. So he told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And at least in last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come in and hang out or what. But if but you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Now, it's okay. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Big. That is a big burn. That is a big burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's that meme. It's that my. It's that Monster Inc. meme with Sully going. Mm. <laughs> uh, so he finds himself stuck between Saint Monica and Mingma. Mingma, Mingma is literature. Seriously defeated, that's how he plops her back into a seat. Don't worry guys, Demoni always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Siori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. 
Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Might be a little jealous. How come? You the money can become friends too. Uh, um, Siori. Hmm? Da -da -da. As your serious seems out of oblivious to the weird situation she p just put me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today. You know. W wait, Siori. Eh, me. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's only nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry, made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. If it means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So anything nice just from you is a pleasant surprise. It makes me happy to no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah? I won't make it a big deal if you want the woman to be. Alright. Well, here. He reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep his attention. Even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Th th this is... How's this going? Stick me being so cheap. She picked up the book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Very thank you, I'll definitely read this. Thanks, sure, surely take the book. Phew. Well, you read it on your own piece. I look forward to hearing what you think. So that everyone's settled then. I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. This doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, and Monica are having a clear, cheerly conversation in the corner. Yuri says it's already buried in the book. I can't but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meaning... I mean, I mean... <laughs> meanwhile, Natsuki is rumbling around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be a bother today. What's on that near his desk? How am I supposed to be covering myself with something literature? I really mind myself like this. I guess I could always read some of the book you gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I'm really fall asleep right now. Close my eyes and I'll listen to the come here with Monica. Shelby! Come here. Come here. Come here. Guys, this is a Shelby. She's my dog. She lives with me. She's a spoil rotten, too. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm? Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the idea of uh, the literature club sounds too dense and intentional. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm. That doesn't solve the problem though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever. Who would come in the first place with this literature event? So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And then they come, we can do the same thing to speak their creative minds. What's this? Siri's so taking this really seriously. It's really here to display like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What, what kind? Oh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah, <laughs> good thinking. I we would love to do that. Ah, you're right. He makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't... That wasn't why you sh just... Just did it? Could make speeds to my creative tummy. Eh. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out with the tea though in the event itself. I found myself smiling in the end of the series and her real self. But there lies the expected reason I admire her. 
I like the. If you guys show a find any movements at all, you better mind the things and make them better in life. Also, that's why I ended up letting it really get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it'd be like to see the world through her eyes. Blah! I want to nice find Zero's face filling my vision. Let me fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This is a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying about Blake again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime. You know? You need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder and see if Monica were heard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. It's a problem. What about you? You look after me better than you look for yourself. You still overlook sleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, no, not every day. That's not very convincing. I mean, this is past week. I haven't gotten up on time. That's... It's a secret! I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Siori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sorry, goes around it, sir. How's it all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is stinging out of your all around here. Ah! My breathing tips down the side of Siori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. Don't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Is there? I don't see any toothpaste. I don't see any toothpaste. I try to wipe up the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want you to bear suit. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Ah, uh, hey, you meanie. Demonia is a meanie. She is. You don't even keep your blazer off button up. Seriously, Yori. Why do you think we have... don't have a boyfriend yet? Uh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I stand the button her blazer from the button. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Whoa! This is different. I've never seen this in my videos. Okay. Eh, this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh, don't say that. I mean, you feel weird about it too. I mean, about it, stupid. It's okay though. If I were like this, aren't you? Uh, uh I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. Why is this so much hard to close? She's trying to fully close the button near her chest. This is a thing that fit you properly. <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? I mean, my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud! Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. You look much better now. So, uh, why does he feel extremely like strange to see what he's button up like that? But it's so stuffy. He... It's not worth it at all. I hustle the unbutton their bullying once more. Phew! That's so much better. Or it puts her arms out and twirls around. So we keep using the button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why, why are you saying that it's like, like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping the button buttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. 
Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only you focus on going to bed early. Fine, fine, that's a deal. <laughs> Guess we really skipped it. Oh my god. When are we going to get to the pools? Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come up like, in the morning. Doing it again, Sigari. Ah, I was joking that time. Man, it's possible to tell you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Mike accidentally calls out. Why don't we share all the problems with me right now? Okay, my phone fell. Yay! Monia, I can't wait to see yours. Yes, yeah, same. I feel the sun is so sick. Sir, still trots away to reach your poem. By the way, did you remember the right poem last night? You could, yeah. I like new methods. I can't believe I agreed to something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find that much inspiration since I'd never really done this before. Well, that doesn't really ready. I need to find someone to worship with. I can't wait! Yeah, I'm gonna go really pull out the poems. Here is I'm gonna go to the sheet of Lewis belief torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, my rights for the question notebook. I can already see Micah's pristine handwriting from where I sit. I can really see it completely as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay, who should I show my poem to first? Alright, so. Uh, I'll go with Monica first. Let's just start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, so I wanted her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Demonia. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, you got any suggestions for the club? Like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Better off just going with the flow until I'm settled in. Anyway, let's share your poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, don't worry, Demonia. We're all in the list today, you know? That's that sort of barrier that we learned to get past? Yeah, that's true. Man, Monica, my poem. Mm -hmm. I like this one. At least you think of something Suri would like. That's so. You and Suri are really good friends, right? What do you mean? It's a random bone call! Wouldn't be surprised if you had any of those sorts of things in the comment. Ah, uh, well, we made good friends, but so are you are, and are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there's also some really that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well being. You know, you that show in a different ways. It ends up being a little similar for you, I think. Sorry, I've been talking all day. I just, I just need to breathe. I just need the breathing. In my head, I am getting a headache for reading all of this. So I think that's kind of by when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it much? Ah, <laughs> could be. Oh gosh, it's not like Yori. In any case, her design is kind of gentle to me. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, do each other their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll not trying different things a lot. It'll take me a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit prized toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force your, yourself to the right the way everyone else wants you to write. It's like you don't have to worry about impressing them or anything. Haha! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna read my poem now. Don't worry, not very good. Somebody comment for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I don't sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Alright. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction sparkle pro six. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I feel... I feel blind. Like a flim left out in the sun. But it's too late. My... Re-intense? 
already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching for forever into everything. A hole of evident choices. I realized that now that I wasn't looking in, I wasn't looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very freeform. If that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of a style I've gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting expense on the timing between words and lines. When before not loud, it can be really powerful. What was that expression? <laughs> ah, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of... What it's recently... It's been influencing my poems a bit. Recently. I have never heard... I... I have never heard that word before. Like, I don't know what it means. What does that mean? Let me look. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's P. I thought it was Q. But... What does that mean? The manifestation of a Christ to the gentles as... Oh, that's what it means. Okay. It's Greek. Apparently. Okay. Okay. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly. But yeah, after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tips of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too flustered. That's a good point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and turn it up later. No matter to think about this. You can keep your pen in the soap for too long. Here's the link. So just move your hand and go for the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna s I'm gonna choose Yori. And after this is done, I'll. Here's the other poem. A minute passes. Well, not enough time for the finish reading. Um. Oh, so sorry. I've got to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. You did for so many poem, right? Uh. Yeah. Why did you ask? Just making sure. I guess that might be after reading it through it. Ah, it's not that bad. No! Can I just read my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. He bears a face in the hands. I hope I noticed that it's been several minutes to really got on anywhere. It might take you a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um it's just that there's a speaking writing habits that are extremely typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in news writers is that they try to make their style very different. Not in words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from a typical manner. Matter. And they form it fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the express expressiveness are weakened. Once you are found a train of thought, it says or demand totally changes. Her stammering completely gone. And she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that you could to go into writing even a simple poem. That's not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is... Ugh, oh, I, I pressed it! It might take you some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example, trying new things. Hope that everyone else in the club gives you a verbal feedback. He's gonna give me a little be biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I should be going to apologize to herself, me, or to Natsuki. What if I read the poem now? 
Please do. I'll notice you my thoughts for six. Alright. Okay. Let's read the poem. Ghosts under the light. The tales of my dream levity beneath the glow bay valley? It must be like this one. The last remaining street lights to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green light of future. I bathe calm breathing. So I haven't such a tale of writing. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. It took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I should think your anime is pretty. Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short. It wasn't too short. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's that first time sharing, why don't I write something a little more mild? Something you need to die something you need to digest, I suppose. I need to go, Yuri. <laughs> Actually the story isn't about a ghost at all, Demonia. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well I suppose you did it. It goes alright after all. Remember that poets have to express their own thoughts, feelings and expenses in their work. I don't really do more than this. Oh my god, how long is it? <laughs> in that case, in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is really only being spectacle compared to a ghost, lingering in their last remaining place of comfort, and able to let go of the past. And soon we left with nothing. That's a lot more someone put it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll keep have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay, that will be it. <laughs> um, um. Okay, so. That's gonna be it, and my head hurts, and I need to be quiet for a while, and I need to rest my voice. Um, so, that we all! So, like, comment, subscribe, run, give it up, and I'll see you all, guys, and the girls, in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, my God. Bye. <laughs>